says, uh, uh, Sandow says, to, and to my critics in and out of WWE, remember, I'm the guy that made being a stunt double work. Play the hand you're dealt. Go forward. And, and this is kind of in response to the last few weeks where he's really kind of been a really weird character. Like, they don't know. Like, you know, it seems like such a lull after being so loved as the stunt double for the Miz. Yeah, right? they made him the Macho Man. They made him the Macho Man. Yeah, because nobody watches TNA and nobody there knows that this has been done before. Mm. Uh, but to be fair, it worked before. That's true. It worked before. For like a I month. think it's working now. No, Jay Lethal was the Black Machismo for a long time. He was the Black Machismo for a long time, but people wanted him to be the Black Machismo for much less of that time. <laughs> I beg to differ on that. But anyways, so so again, he's somebody that's making that work. He's somebody that that, that turned from this imitation kind of idea into what he what he what he has become. I mean, we also got to think. I mean, mankind was a really goofy character when it began, right? It was it was from that age, and he turned it and molded it into something that people could really sink their teeth into, right? I, I don't know. I think Mankind started out very serious and then became very goofy. True. But even... Yeah, that, 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 yeah, it's more... It went the other way. It was like... Because he sat in that boiler room and did those creepy things, kind of like the Bray Wyatt type deal in the beginning, and then he got silly and ran circles around the ring with a sock in his hand. and So, yeah, it... it he did the reverse of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had a rat named Charlie and then a sock named Sokka. So, well, LB, you brought up this tweet. What do you what do you think about this reaction from Sandow? I think it's great. I mean, he really he did make the uh, being a stunt double work. You know, the stuff with the Miz was really great. But I mean, even then, you had to look at it and wonder well, where they're going to go with this. Mm-hmm. And I I hate to be I really do hate to be Debbie Downer about this, but where are they going to go? I mean. Is it realistic that we're going to see Sandow in the WWE title picture? I, I think the odds of that are, are very slim. Uh, stranger things have happened, and I hope that I'm completely wrong about that. I hope that, you know, uh, God forbid if there's a Daniel Bryan-shaped hole in the picture that maybe Damien Sandow can come up and, and fill it. But um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not confident. I mean, it's a, it's a good it's a good take on that to say, hey, you know, work with the, the hand you're dealt and, 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 and become flexible and, and everything like that. I mean, uh, this is what they're looking for. You know, the whole brass ring argument with WWE, right? You know, how, mm-hmm. how, what are you going to do with this? And how did you handle that? If they can handle that, well, maybe they'll handle this, you know, and, and working that up and having a really weird situation like with the Miz and just becoming like the most over thing on Monday nights to see him come out and do the double thing. Uh, uh, Dan, do you have any thoughts on this? I think, I think, I mean, the, the big show did this um, many, right. many centuries ago in his prime where he was coming out as Hulk Hogan or Rowdy Piper, or I think a headbanger. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I think that, that to do this with somebody that's, that's just re- recently became uh, relevant in the WWE's eyes um, in Randy Savage, you know, he just went into the hall of fame. I, I think it's, you don't you don't pretend to be a dead wrestler to get over with the crowd, right? And I think what a lot of people kind of overlook is part of the reason I think you know Miz Dow was so successful was because he played off of the Miz, and the Miz is such a good heel that you know it was almost the Virgil and DiBiase gimmick over again, and uh, without the big <laughs> yeah, payoff. but nobody cheered for Virgil. Oh, oh, I beg <laughs> to differ. Um, many people liked the Virgil. But um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a good thing. I don't, I don't think Sandow's going to be back in the title picture. Um, now that there's only one title, I, I don't think he will be, unfortunately. I mean, I thought for a while him or Cody were going to get the SmackDown title. Was that the world championship, not the world title, whatever right, they call right, it? Right, right, right. But um, I, I think it, it's, it needs to run its course. And I, I, I for some reason, I think Axel Mania could, could have a much longer run than this macho man Dow. But it, already, it already has had a pretty – several month run which is um, amazing at least he's doing something right at least he's not trying to pretend to pr- pretend to be his own dad yeah it's true <laughs> <laughs> i know how that applies but i was started thinking about it differently <laughs> in a way that doesn't make any sense <laughs> well maybe I, that's why they put him with axel because people were like all right 
these two guys are being goofy together. Let's see if it can work together as a tag team or whatever yeah. they can throw together right. and maybe see what's going to happen with the whole deal. I'm like, all right, we got the um, kind of mega powers type thing, but let's let them see where they go with it. Hey. I mean, we saw it with the Ascension coming out and then both beating up the guys, and I sat there and watched it and went, okay, so it's the...